Hi everyone, this is Zeus the Sparky here. And in today's quick tutorial, we're learning how to um, how to function a limit alarm instruction block. So basically, this alarm block is used for um, monitoring a variable and seeing if a variable goes over a high limit or under a low limit. If it does, then it will trigger an output. Okay, if it goes over the high limit, it triggers out triggers the Q output which we can put an output over here so over here I'll put one of the outputs on the micro 810 controller and if it goes low it triggers the Q and QL um, outputs and yeah I'll put the second output in QL and okay the high limit low limit X is the variable which we're monitoring and EPS okay just say it goes over the high limit uh, we want we want it to go back to normal after like it goes down three steps below the high limit so four three two okay once it goes to one then like yeah it will open back up it will open back up and my negative five once it goes to negative one then yeah these two will turn off okay so um in time of recording this video i have not made any instructional quick tutorial videos on this these two blocks are called arithmetic blocks, the addition arithmetic block and the subtraction arithmetic block. They work with pulses. Every time it gets a pulse, it's going to add two values together and create an output value. And uh, yeah, same with the subtraction block. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to control the variable we're inputting into the limit alarm instruction block. Okay, to do that, we need to create it. Double click on the lower half. Okay, we already got var temp, but okay, for sake of this um, quick tutorial video, we're going to create a completely new one. So, test heater. Okay, let's see. Test heater. Okay, over here, we're going to suggest here yeah, test, test heater. Here, put test heater as well. And test heater is over here. And test heater is over here. Okay, so we're monitoring the value test heater, which is. Okay, it's not written down here. Test heater. Okay, alias is test heater as well. Heater. And initial value is zero. Okay, sweet. So test heater initial value is going to be zero. We're going to use the first input to add one pulse to the, this addition block, which will add one to test heater and output test heater. And the second input will do the opposite and minus one. Okay, so let's see this baby at work. Okay, so press play. Okay, so as we can see here, test heater has zero. Um, both outputs on this uh, limit alarm block is false and yes we got our addition and subtraction okay let's start adding okay one two three four five okay when we go six it's gonna go true and it's gonna close okay so six okay so uh, as we said with the EPS once it gets to one then that's when this will open back up there we go and we want to see if the low limit works this should turn on okay see both of them go true but this doesn't close so qh equals q so high high means this closes and q means like um, basically it's out of limit and ql means basically yeah um it's low so when we go back to negative one it should um yeah go false again which is correct and yeah, that's basically how the limit alarm instruction block works. This works for various applications. So basically, it's using pulses. Um, pulses um, increase the the real type of um, real type of data. So okay, I didn't explain what real was. All these inputs here are real. Uh, with programming language, you've got different types of variable. The real variable variable type is um, similar to the common floating types or floating numbers so basically it's 0, 0.00 numbers so we've got 5.00 .00 here 3.00 .00. so it's not solid numbers like 1 2 3 4 it needs to have a 0, 0.00 it can be 
three, four, etc. And over here, yeah, we're adding 1.00 to test heater. Um, we require pulse because one pulse will make this do one addition. If it, um, okay. And then yeah, it's like limit a lot. So if you want to see, we want to. We want to monitor variables, see if they go too high or too low, and then after that, we want to we want to do a different process after this. With limit alarm instruction blocks, we can achieve this. Okay, this is Zeus the Sparky. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to subscribe and see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And yes, leave a comment if you're unsure about anything here. Okay, this is Zeus the Sparky, and I'm out.